to Lights Out with Fasil Khan. This is Lights Out. I'm joined by Glenn McCrory. Glenn, how are you doing today? Very good, thank you. Very good. Excellent. Pleasure to be here. A pleasure to meet you too. Um, we're here for the press conference between Bill Joe Saunders versus Martin Murray, June the 23rd at the O2 Arena for the WBL middleweight title. What type of a fight can the fans expect to see? I think you're going to see some, some fantastic skills, you're going to see some grit, you're going to see some determination, you're going to see, um, you know, you've got two fighters in there that uh, bring two very different things to the ring. You've got the slippery skills, uh, southpaw skills of Billy Joe, and then you've got the grit and determination of Martin Murray, who's been and handled himself at the very top level, even against super middleweights like George Groves. So I believe that you're going to see the best of both, because Billy Joe has to be in the best shape of his life, because Martin Murray is probably the strongest middleweight there is out there, you know, I mean, it, you know, he, he, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Golovkin, and, you know, so he's very, very, he's very, very strong, so I'm, I'm expecting a, a great fight, I think you're going to see the very best of Billy Joe Saunders and, um, and the very best of Martin Murray, it's his last chance at the, the, the highest level. You mentioned a few of the fighters that Martin Murray's tackled with, George Groves, Gennady Golovkin, do you think that experience? Felix Durham, Sergio Martinez, Arthur Abraham. Yeah. Do you think that experience gives him some sort of a like an upper hand, maybe going into this I fight? I think it gives. It, I'm not sure it's an upper hand, but I think it gives him certainly a, an even hand. Mm -hmm. It gives him the, the the you know he's lost it at the highest level. So so, but I think it it, it gives him the the confidence that. You know he's not going to be he's, he's not going to be hurt by Billy Joe Saunders, or he shouldn't be hurt by Billy Joe Saunders. So he's going to be there for 12, and in 12 rounds, at some point, mm -hmm. it's going to it's going to become a fight. At some point, he's going to have his opportunities. It's whether he can take his opportunity when that comes. Just want to get your thoughts on June the 9th. The Mac is back. Tyson yeah. Fury returning yeah. to the boxing ring. After that famous night in Dusseldorf, it was in 2015. Mm. It's been a very long time. What's your thoughts on Tyson Fury returning to boxing? I think it's um, it couldn't come soon enough. I'm, mm. I'm really looking forward to Tyson come, coming back. He's got so much to offer the sport. Uh, I think what happened was was awful, um, the way he was treated um, by the British press, by the British public. I think they pulled him down. Um, and, and you know, I, I disagreed with it with a, a lot that, that they did, um, and it hurt him very deeply. You know, he he put a, he put on a great performance and pulled off one of the biggest wins ever by a British fighter, and yet, you know, he didn't get the reward that that was needed for that. So so I think that was that was sad. The fact is, you know, he's back. He's wiser. He's um, you know, he's still a young man. Mm -hmm. He's he's a he's a big guy. Um, I've, I've, I've seen him a couple of times recently, and you know he's talking like he's got the hunger back. If he has got the hunger back, um, he's going to be one of the one of the, the he's going to be one of the men to beat in the heavyweight division. Eddie Hearn says that negotiations are currently in progress with Deontay Wilder's teams. Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. Do you think we'll see that fight take place this year in 2018? Um, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, you know, talk, you know, talk can happen. Whatever I believe it when the contracts are signed. Um, I hope so. I hope so. I mean, one thing for sure is Andy Joshua won't be ducking anybody. Um, whether Eddie Hearn is, I don't know, but Andy Joshua certainly won't be. Um, Deontay Wilder. I mean, I think he'll fight. You know, he showed in the Ortiz fight that you know he, he he'll fight anybody in the world, and you know he showed himself as a as probably the, at the minute number one, the, the man to beat. Um, Although you know AJ is great and done fantastic, that was a that was a, a, a mega win against Ortiz. You know, tough, hard, drooled in Southpaw. So um, he came through that in flying colours. Took you know, got through a hot, some tough times, but I mean that's the mark of a champion. Just talking on the three heavyweights I've just mentioned: Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Anthony Joshua. Do you think Tyson Fury, still till this day, is the best at the heavyweight division? Well, we can't say that. We can't say that till we see him back in the ring. Do you know? I mean, if, if he can pull anything back like he did against against Klitschko, he's going to be hard to beat, and that's because he's so awkward. You know, mm -hmm. that's because he's so tough to beat. Um, but we got we're yet to see that. You know, the jury's out till we see Tyson in one. To, to, you know, till we see him in a test and see him come through a test. Until that point, the jury will, will still be out. Glenn McCrory, thank you very much for talking to Lights Out. You.